Hello all, welcome to this tutorial of SolidWorks. This tutorial is prepared for uh, the people who are just starting SolidWorks. Um, in this tutorial, we are going to create this part, which is created from these dimensions. Uh, this part is very simple part. Uh, I'm going to use one method of many uh, possible to creating this part. Uh, so let's start. Uh, we start with new part and we choose part. Okay. Uh, first of all, let us check the di dimensions. Here we have the dimensions in millimeter. If you don't have it, you can just maybe you have it like this. You just click and change it to the millimeter. Um, let us start by creating the first sketch, which will be based on the phase of this piece this part so we will take the top plane and we will go sketch bar and hit sketch uh, take the rectangle and we will take from the origin we'll try to make it horizontal or uh, sorry vertical Click and click. Uh, now for dimensions, we need to use smart dimensions. We we have one hundred forty five and seventy two. So one hundred forty five here. And 72 here. Uh, for all sketches, I prefer when you uh, sketching new part to make it all black. It means predefined. This one is still blue. It means that if I press escape, it means that I can move it. It's not defined exactly. So, for this, I will take this line, control, and press this point. I have line and the point, the origin point, and I will, uh, I will add the relation midpoint. You can notice now that the sketch is fully defined. And this is our first sketch. Exit. And... Go to features and extrude. The height is 90, so let's extrude it with 90. I will just tap 90 here, enter, enter again, and we have our first solid body. Uh, next step. I'm going to make this cut. So we will take this plane, go on sketch, and uh, we'll go here and choose normal. So click anywhere so that you can see what you are doing. Take rectangle from this corner like maybe like so and then take the dimensions we have dimension from this line this line 56 from this line this line 24 oh it's 25 so when we have to modify double click 
and we correct and enter. And uh, we can see that our rectangle is black, means that fully defined. Start extrude cut. Let's move the part around by clicking by clicking the middle button. Uh, so it's that uh, our cut is going out of the part. It's okay. It's better than going uh, inside the part. It means that it will cover all the area. Click OK. Uh, click Control and move the part. Alt, move it around. And so on. Um, now I'll start to make this cut here. So click this plane, go to sketch and start new sketch. If you like, you can go also here and take normal. Too. Take anywhere. Take the rectangle tool. Click and click. And then as we did for the first rectangle, we do also here. Click this line, control this point, and you can choose from here also, make midpoint. Choose dimensions, this one 24, and this one is 50. Now we take the circle from the middle point, from the midpoint here. Start a circle and until this point. Escape and click somewhere. We can see that the circle is fully defined already. Now we can cut these lines because we don't need them right now. We'll use trim entities. Click here and click here. And uh, by the way, you can change if you have this one or trim, you can change it to trim to closest and you will have the scissors near to your pointer. Click here and you'll have a message saying that trimming this part will um make us to lose our relation no problem click yes this message was about this thing this arc right here can be moved can be changed so it's not fully defined anymore so what we can do about this we can choose this point and this point make it horizontal and this point with this point make it vertical. This point with this point also vertical and now we have it. Exit sketch and start new cut. Let us move the part so that we can see where we are cutting. It's cutting uh, also outside the part, it's okay, but it's better to take it from here to next, up to next. So it will stop on the next surface, this one. Click OK and we have our cut. 
let's start this one this cut here we will choose this plane start sketch normal two plane and the rectangle tool on this point sorry rectangle tool on this point this point then I will add some dimensions actually I have shortcut on my keyboard I choose to be D this one is 50 this one is 6 and that's it we can exit and start new cut just check it's going in the correct way and uh, this one should be 72 so I will just tap 72 click OK and we have it um, now we will start this cut start from this plane sketch I will start by creating a circle this time go to normal tool and circle I will go like this so I will have this line interrupted line I will click and another click and we have our circle. Then I will add a rectangle like so. And now I will add the dimensions from the center point and dimensions from the center point to the origin is 48. The diameter of this is 60. Actually, we were given the radius 30. It's the same. Uh, from this line until this line, it's uh, 24. From this line until this line. Now we still have blue circle and blue lines. Let us take care of them. The circle, the problem with the circle is that it can move like, like so. So we will choose this point, control and the origin and you will take vertical. For this line, I'm going to choose this line with this line and make it collinear. The same for the second line, control and collinear. And we have a fully defined sketch. This time I'm not going to use trim entities. I will show you why. We have another option. Go to extrude and as soon as I click on extrude we will see that this selected contour box is open now let's clear this one right click and clear selection then choose this one this one this one this one and this one And I think we have it too much here, just 12. I will tap 12, enter, and I will go. Okay. Next, choose this plan, sketch, circle, and I will go near to this circle, and you will see that as soon as I come near here, 
I have the center point highlighted. I will just click near to it. It will just snap. And another click to determine the circle. I will just need a dimension here. The dimension we have it for 24. And that's it. As we used the next feature, the next um, the cut here, we will use it also here. So instead of blind, we will use up to next. And our cut will stop on the next surface. Check mark. OK. And we have our part completed. Now, some observations about this part. We notice here that we have for each future, we have, uh, we can open it here and check it. Now, the beauty with the CAD designing programs that we can go back and uh, change the dimensions. For example, if we want, for example, if this dimension changed from 145, let's say, to 160, very simple. We just go this one, the first one, and click on this sketch, edit sketch, and we'll ch change it. From 145 to 160 and exit and you will see that the whole part have changed what if I want to change this one okay no problem for this extrude the same go to sketch edit sketch and change let's say this will be uh, 30 click and you can take it from here and choose 30 and here we have it exit and we have a larger hole okay go back I don't go back 24 no go back and also go back for this dimension again just like this and this is the part and that's it for the first tutorial thank you for watching and stay tuned